بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My next piece is called Mr. Ali It involves a boy and his street life and how he came from someone who was living the so-called gangster life and now turned to a pious Muslim Here goes inshallah There was a boy called Ali who was involved in drugs He was a young boy used to see him blood Money was on his mind, so he was selling drugs. Never slept, he was always up. Scared that he lost some drugs and some other stuff. He was nuts, charging everything till he got crushed. And yeah, the streets are rough, but the choice was his it was. Now he's left in torment. Nothing left but for him to repent. So he goes back to his almighty Lord, good actions observed, sin slam dunk and flawed, restraining himself from breaking laws, striving to enter paradise's doors. He changed from a hood boy to a young man, a young man to a man, a man that looks after his family and shows love to his mum and dad. Left Jahiliya because he found out it was just sad. He realised there's no point in running after drugs which would cause him to get mad. Didn't obey no one, he was never silent, a type that would want to cause chaos or a riot. From driving stolen cars without a license to a Muslim man who's pious. Ask yourself, why did he turn righteous? Is it because of these so-called rappers that he's on a straight path? Nah, it's because he cleaned out his heart. He gave it a nice good old bath and music just kills the heart. It's just a holy book for Satan. Influencing nothing but violence is blatant. They want to mentally kill the youth. They want them banging out Jay Z's tunes. Oh, Muslim, don't you know you resurrected soon? Before you was in your mother's womb. Shaytan swore to Allah that he's your enemy to your end up in a tomb. And rappers are brainwashing the youth. Their attitude is disgusting, yet they're transferring it to you. So why are you going to start living off the streets, chilling in the green, frontlining in front of KFC? Forget the music, just stick to your deen. Be who you are, don't be who you ain't. Who's more worthy for your pleasing? A musician that don't care if you're dead or alive. Or the creator they gave you and the musician a life. Who controls your death and when you die? Who controls the life of this world and the time? Is it Bob Marley or Jay-Z? Or Chris Brown, Rihanna, Trey Songs or Christopher Reed? Nah, it's the Lord that you ask for help when you're in need. So why don't we understand that these artists are playing mind games? They want teenagers like us screaming their name. They're full of fame, so every word that they say is heard, normal or insane. Their words are dropped in this ummah like an endless rain. Never ending is like we're the shirt, they're the dirt and we're permanently stained. However, there's a chance to regain the ummah. If we stop boys and girls from drinking, smoking and hitting raves, I bet there'll be no rain. Just a clean shirt with no stain. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and jazakallah for coming and we have more for you to come. Assalamu alaikum.